Global plant-based dieting could save 8 million lives by 2050, reduce greenhouse gas emissions by two-thirds, and avoid climate change damages of over 2 trillion Australian dollars, reported by the University of Oxford. I know what some of you may be thinking. Here we go again, another speech about the environment. Well, you're neither right nor wrong. I want to raise your awareness of the environmental and health benefits plant-based diets have. Some of you may be vegetarian, vegan or pescatarian, but there might be more benefits for yourself and the world than you think. My journey does not start off how you'd expect. I went to bed, my stomach aching from eating Karaji chicken, thinking I'd sleep it off as everyone does. I was wrong, waking up at 2am calling out to my mum from the bathroom. Food poisoning. Food poisoning the day we had to fly on a plane from Sydney back to Brisbane. It was a very traumatic and unforgettable experience for those who I shared a small hotel room with. Mum, Dad, my auntie and uncle and me. However, I didn't go vegetarian straight away. It was after school camp, a few months later, where I dared myself to take up the challenge. I've never looked back. I don't think I'd enjoy the taste and texture of meat anymore, not to mention the phobia I have of having food poisoning again. This was one of the best choices I have ever made. Now, here I am, a year and a half since I turned vegetarian, feeling better than ever and presenting a speech on a topic I once never knew. Before I continue, I'll answer the question you're dying to ask. Do you miss meat? To be honest, yes, pork crackling. It's estimated that 84% of vegans or vegetarians go back to eating meat, sometimes because of cravings or nutritional deficiencies. I can assure you that turning plant-based is easier than you think. You just have to find enjoyable substitutes. By going plant-based, I feel much healthier inside and out. This does sound cringy, but I've barely been sick in the past year. Many celebrities claim to see a difference as well, with actor Zac Efron stating, going vegan has completely changed the way that my body works, the way that I metabolize food, the way it turns into energy, the way that I sleep. It's been brilliant. It's been great for my exercise and great for my routine. There are so many significant reasons to go plant-based, and the benefits to yourself and the environment only scrape the surface. Firstly, the environment. Without it, there simply would be no life. Studies show that veganism or even vegetarianism is the single biggest way a person can play their part in saving our world from environmental destruction. In fact, it can reduce an individual's carbon footprint by 73%. For those of you who don't know, a carbon footprint is defined as the total amount of greenhouse gas emissions, like carbon dioxide, released into the atmosphere caused by individual, organisational and community activities. Changing your diet helps support the decrease of greenhouse gas emissions, which lowers the rate of global warming and climate change. Doing this also lessens the impact of deforestation. The Amazon, often referred to as the lungs of the planet, is vital in regulating the world's oxygen and carbon dioxide cycles. Yet every minute, 27 soccer fields are deforested in the Amazon, according to the World Wide Fund for Nature. This deforestation is primarily caused by ca cattle farming and soy plantations for animal feed. When huge masses of forest are senselessly destroyed, it releases tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change and puts many animal species at risk of extinction. Also, studies show that 20 times more fresh water is required to produce animal products compared to the same weight of plant products. By going plant-based, you play your part in preserving precious water resources. The Vegan Society reveals that 15,000 litres of water are used to produce just one kilogram of beef. However, one kilogram of tomatoes uses only 180 litres. Put that into perspective. And then there's health. It's essential to living a life with positive physical, mental and social well-being. 
Coronary heart disease is a leading cause of death in Australia. A major cause and risk factor of this is consuming red and processed meat. This is because the saturated fats from these meats raise your cholesterol levels, building up fatty deposits in the artery surrounding your heart, resulting in deadly heart attacks. Reducing or eliminating meat and seafood from your diet prevents strokes, high blood pressure, some cancers, obesity, Alzheimer's, and the list goes on. Your immune system will benefit as well, as fruit and vegetables have essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that only plants can provide. Also, plant-based diets reduce inflammation, help maintain a healthy weight, and assist in getting enough fiber. All of this significantly reduces your risk of cancer as your body can recognize and fight against mutated cells before they progress into a disease. Overall, non-meat eaters, non eaters have a longer life expectancy than omnivores. In fact, they are said to live six to nine years longer. From all the scientific evidence I've stated about the environmental and health benefits plant-based diets have, you may or may not be keen to go for it. Either way, I encourage you to get involved. Each November 1st, World Vegan Day is celebrated, aimed at raising knowledge about the benefits of making the switch. Or you can join the new craze, Veganuary. For the month of January, people go vegan. Go ahead, come join the rising 12.1% of Australians, 2.5 million people, who are either part or full vegetarian and see the advantages for yourself. Thank you.